Hey guys, what is going on? So today it's a way different video. We are gonna go check out a project Jeep for the channel. I'm taking Chris with me. What he doesn't know is this Jeep is gonna be for him. Anyways, he's been talking about wanting something off-road for a while and I feel like this is a perfect way to do it is to get him a Jeep WJ with a V8 so we have more content for the channel and he can also do his own off-road build too. And Chris helps me out a lot, you know, he lets me use his garage, his tools. He, I actually have my whole like printing setup for the shirts in his garage. So this is something he deserves for sure. And also when you're watching this, it's his birthday too. So I feel like that's the perfect timing. We are also releasing a shirt that says Chris's garage. It'll look like this. If you guys want to support his build, any money that I make off of the shirts, I'm going to give it to him that we can start building the Jeep up. So let's go pick him up and let's go pick up that Jeep. All right, so we just got here. We are in El Cajon, so close to San Diego. Chris is here with me. He's gonna help me drive it back home, so yeah. Let's go check it out. All right, so here it is. Four by four quadra track with a V8. So we're gonna check it out with some rust, but it's not bad. The driver's seat's not even ripped, so that's yeah. cool. So we just took it for a test drive. It is revving a little high, has that issue. So that's something we're gonna have to work on, but I think overall it's decent. It does need work here and there. The AC doesn't work. The tires are bad. The high idle issue and it's giving me a high voltage issue as well. It might be related, but I don't know. I think we will take it. The battery's not holding charge, but he said he might have an extra one. So we'll see about that and go from there. It does need a lot of cleanup. It has a nest in there. There you go. Now we got a Jeep. All right. So let's go ahead and take it home. Here, Chris, you drive your new Jeep home. Oh, what? It's yours. No. Yeah. You gotta be kidding me. Your birthday's tomorrow, so you got a Jeep now. You got a project. <laughs> How do you feel owning a WJ now? I don't know. Let's go off roading. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got to fix it first before we can do that. First time driving his own Jeep. <laughs> look at him. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> This thing had no gas and the gas gauge doesn't work, so good thing we're putting some in. That's, bro, 14 gallons, $60. It's still going. Chris is about to take the Jeep home. Uh, we're gonna knock on Jeep first, right? Knock on Jeep. All right, so we were able to bring the Jeep back home. It made it home, it drives really great, but we were having an issue with it overheating a little bit. It went past 210, like to the first line after 210. So we pulled over, let it cool down, and then that only happened because we we're in traffic. So then once we got going, it cooled down. So after that, it made it home really good. I'm actually surprised by how nice it drives, way better than the Jeep, but uh, right now we're gonna go ahead and wash it. And I think on the next video, I'll go over everything that's wrong with it. This Jeep is a two owner and it has 167,000 miles and it came from wisconsin so it has a little bit of rust here and there but you know everything will get fixed slowly as we get to working on the jeep for now before the sun goes down we are just gonna give it a wash just to clean it up make it look nice eventually we will paint the plastics as well we're gonna do that same dark gray and if chris doesn't like it then we're gonna do just all black for now let's go ahead and wash it and you can't deny how freaking clean i don't know why but for some reason i do like the chrome handles the driver's seat look at that i can't believe it it is a little bit dirty, so we still need to clean it up. The only bad part is this little piece right here, but they always tend to rip, so not a big deal. A little bit dirty back here in the carpet, but it has a spare. So what do you think about the Jeep? You happy or no? Oh, hell yeah. Should we go happy. return it? Yeah, I mean, why not? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. So like I said, on the next video, we'll go over everything that's wrong with the Jeep. And this is how you know it's a Jeep, because it has a check engine light. And the fuel gauge. The fuel gauge actually doesn't work. Overall, it's a nice Jeep. And eventually we'll get it similar to that one over there. Oh, and the Jeep has a high idle problem. So that's something we got to fix. That's the reason we got it so cheap. We picked it up for $1,300. So we were thinking making it like a budget build for the channel. I don't know. What would you guys say the budget should be for the build? So we're, we're going to count the Jeep in there as well. So $1,300, take that off. How much else should we put into the Jeep to make it, you know, off-road capable? How much do you want to put into the Jeep? Uh, I don't know. Like uh, 2G. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. Dan, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Oh look at him. My God. <laughs> what the hell are these things? Woo. Hey, you like these? No. <laughs> uh, Chris also says he's going to take off the grill. So if anybody is from SoCal and they want this, come and get it. Or else we're just gonna sell it on offer up or something. So, Chris is nice enough to give it to one of you guys. Yes, sir. Dude, it cleaned up good. You got lucky with this Jeep. I know. We're gonna have to do a little bit of polishing though, like the black. It's kind of like faded on top, but I, got I feel. Lucky. 
because uh, Najar Off Road. Thank you guys. Oh, <laughs> everybody, everybody from Najar Off Road. We really appreciate the support that you guys are giving us. Thank you all for real. So, like I said, we're gonna end up polishing it just to make it look a little bit nicer. Polishing the headlight. We took off the little nipples that I had on there. Yeah, it looks so much better without the bull bar. It's kind of late, but we ended the video earlier. But yeah, Chris really wanted to take off the bar. He said it looks super ugly for his Jeep. I'm not a fan. Not a fan. So I think it looks way better too. We'll, we'll, we'll get a buffer later. Yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching the videos and supporting. We were able to get Chris a Jeep, so. Yeah, I'm still grateful for it, man. And it's a V8, so hopefully that brings more videos, more content to you guys with the V8. More, more uh, power, baby. More power. And we have to fix a couple things, but uh, you know, slowly we'll get it. 100%. Anyways, that'll be it for today's video. Peace.